I got it out in time. I mean, it's it's definitely gonna be sore just from wear and tear, just because it's the first activity since. How would you assess this overall? Um, I would assess it as I was just starting to kind of hit hit a stride, and, and the fun was starting. You know, it took a while for me to just get laps, and the the learning curve was so steep because you have to learn the car and the track at the same time. And so, I just wanted to, to survive and uh, you know be out there for this carnage. But unfortunately, we were one of the casualties. You had mentioned yesterday in your interview with Dave Moody that turn one was a sucker turn. Yeah. What do you mean by that? And were there other sucker turns in the area? Yeah, there was another sucker turn in the back that caught me out early in the race. But um, all the heavy braking zones for me, coming from a really light downforce car, is, is just there's no feel. So it's, it's a lot of guessing and trying to get a feel for where straight line braking limit is. So um, it caught me out in the beginning, but we recovered nicely and probably on for a top 15 there, which is, you know, not bad for a first go. Is there anything about this experience that surprised you? Um, just kind of how uh, how quick you know like by the time I'm learning left and right here I'm already qualified so I didn't really uh, didn't have enough time I think to get ready but um, you know I think the more laps the better um, I haven't really looked at it. it'd be fun to do a really short oval I think it'd be really fun I mean, the guy's a, a he's a shoe. He'll he'll pick it up nicely. Um, you know, I think we've seen a lot of success from NASCAR drivers going over there. I mean, Kurt Busch being one of those as well. So, um, you know, I think he would pick it up good. It's all about right place at the right time with the right team and uh, um, you know the right people behind you. Uh, no, I would say, I don't know, it's just tough. I think it's just being in the right place at the right time with a good team. You want to come back? I'd come back, I'd come back. Um, we just have to look at opportunities and, and, and talk, but, uh, you know, it was fun. I just didn't have enough laps. How about if you and Connor Bailey got their drive and talk hard head-to-head against each other on that one? Me. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit frontstretch.com for more great content.